So, welcome to Phnom Penh, capital of Cambodia. We're here for two days and we're staying in the Sun and Moon Urban Hotel here in downtown. And this is the Sky Bar in Infinity Pool. You can see the Royal Palace over there. Is that where we're going now? We're going to go over there and then we're going to go maybe on a, on a river cruise later on this evening. But there, Phnom Penh, look at it. Maybe Maybe the night market, but look at the infinity pool here. This is what you get if you stay at the Sun and Moon Hotel. So our first stop is a 12 minute walk, according to Google Maps, Wat Phnom. And you can see just the gray spirit, yeah, over there. Should we go? and then we can go to the Royal Palace and then we can see what's what, maybe organise our boat tour later on. Right, so here we are, in this heat, it's 3pm, let's go to this uh, famous walk, it's actually my third time in Phnom Penh, last time I think I was here was in 2018. So Phnom Penh it seems a bit like Jakarta, doesn't it? Yeah. KL was a bit more ordered and sophisticated. Here, yeah, it's just like I, being back in Jakarta. I think the electrical cable situation might even be worse here than what it is in Jakarta. Yeah, I think it probably is. Nice. There it is. Oh, you've been intercepted because we've got to pay because we're foreigners. One dollar each. <laughs> Built in 1373, the highest Buddhist edifice in Phnom Penh. Wow. The stupa has been renovated several times, the latest of which was in 1926. Are you ready? Off you go. Tell me what it's like when you've been there. Bloody hot. Shoes off. Oh, I can smell it like incense. People are leaving like offerings, like some dollars shoved in there. But look, perfume and even a packet of cigarettes. Yeah. Cambodian money left as offerings. Look at that cat poking his head out. Hello. When I came here, maybe, I don't know, 12 years ago, there were monkeys at this site. Can't see any this time. So we were about finished, but then Celine spotted like some sort of clock. Oh, I don't know if you can get a picture of this one over there, can you? Let's oh. go up there. And she's got some sort of obsession with clocks. Um, That's a really cool clock. And we're trying to get as high as we can so we can see it. You'll see what I mean, but yeah, clock. Clock obsession. Clock. Fetish even. Clock obsession. Built into the grass. And if you look closely, the hand is actually turning. Happy? What would you give it out of 10? The clock? I would score it pretty high, but the reason that it would lose points would be because you can't really get a good view of it. Yeah, you need a drone. You need like a view of it from over there, so you can actually see it. So tomorrow we're going to visit the sad history of Phnom Penh. The, uh, 
the museum where they tortured people and the killing fields. But back in the regime of Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge, Phnom Penh was more or less empty. They emptied the city out. People were working in rural jobs because that's what he wanted. It was just everyone had to be classless. But we're going to learn more about that tomorrow. Right, are you ready to go to the Royal Palace? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Off we go in a tuk tuk. Hello, thank you. That was easy to order on the app. So that was about a dollar, and it was only about five minutes. But here we are. The Royal Palace. Let's try to get in. Look how busy it is. The river's just beyond there. Pigeons everywhere. Looks good, doesn't it? So, just read here on Google. Temporarily closed. So this is the closest we'll get to it. It looks like there's some sort of graduation going on, loads of students about. They disappointed. Well, if it's quite similar to the one I saw, I feel like I've seen something, you know, if I'd never seen anything like it before, I think that would be more disappointing. Yeah, it's very similar to the one in Bangkok. I think, I think the French built it when this was part of Indochina, French Indochina. China. So instead, I'm going to go by the river, Tonle Sap, I think it's pronounced. I hope we can cross this bloody road. Oh, On the zebra crossing, but no one's stopping. Even though we're like in the middle of the middle of the road. Right, we're just gonna go. birds that you can pay to release. Such a sad little thing. Trying to sell us food to give to the pigeons but we're not interested. Popcorn? No. There's the water. People selling all the stuff, the pigeons, the fast flowing river, the flags. This is quite a nice part of Phnom Penh, uh, especially as the uh, afternoon sun is dissipating, so it's quite nice. We decided we're going to go to one of these places, get a drink, get some food, and plot our next course of action. We go up some dodgy stairs in Phnom Penh. this for a little uh, little spot. I'm happy with this. Yeah, good night. So as well as the good view, it's got some decent-ish food. So we've well, ordered... the pictures look decent. Yeah, the pictures look decent. We've ordered yeah, some nice. Thai green curry and I've ordered a beer. And you've got a Sprite, you're going to have a Shandy, shandy. while enjoying the view of the river. This is a really nice view. It's a really nice view. Flags look really cool, don't they? The food has arrived in a strange receptacle. Thank you. What's the candy like? Thank you. Yeah, good. Nice. It's tasty. It's tasty and it's not spicy. No, it's not spicy. 